Hey everyone, happy Thursday. Thanks for tuning in this week. I'm Waller's Wallet where I teach you about credit cards, points, miles, cashback, and show you how to use it to travel for less. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at 10 apps I use when I travel. And these apps keep me organized, they help reduce the language barrier, and they just overall make my traveling a little bit easier. The first app we're gonna take a look at is TripIt. TripIt helps keep all my travel information organized. I have to link my email addresses to my TripIt account and TripIt goes through and it pulls out all the information for my upcoming travels. It puts them in chronological order, lets me know about my different airfares, lets me know about my hotels and even car rentals or anything related to travel that is gonna help me on my trip. TripIt offers a free and a paid version for their application. The paid version has a couple extra bells and whistles and if you travel enough, the paid version could actually be worth it for you. The next app we're going to take a look at is Award Wallet. Award Wallet helps keep track of all my points across all my different accounts. It saves me a lot of time as compared to going to each individual program to find out how many points I have and when those points are expiring. You can even add in different family members and keep track of their points as well in addition to your points. I really consider Award Wallet a must have app if you have multiple frequent flyer accounts and have points across those accounts. This really does streamline that process and make it a little bit easier for you. Number three, Mobile Passport. Mobile Passport is gonna really save you a lot of time going through customs when you come back into the country. While most people are standing in line at a kiosk or even filling out paper forms, you've already input that, all that information into your mobile application. The airports that accept Mobile Passport have a line dedicated for Mobile Passport individuals and there are far fewer individuals in this line as opposed to the normal line going through customs. Number four, Google Translate. Google Translate has been very helpful for me in reducing the language barrier when I'm traveling. I can enter in words or key phrases and Google will teach me how to say those words so I can learn a couple key words or phrases while I'm in my new location. One addition I've recently noticed, you can take a picture and Google will translate whatever is in that picture for you. I think this is a really great addition to help really reducing that language barrier. Number five, Twitter. I am a big fan of Twitter and that is because many companies are very active on Twitter. If you're having an issue that you cannot get resolved, reach out to the company through Twitter. You'd be really surprised how quickly they respond and how many times they can really take care of your issue. Now it's not perfect, but in the times I've had to reach out to companies through Twitter, they've either helped resolve my issue right there or pointed me in the direction of where I needed to go. Number six, Google Maps. Google Maps is going to be great if you're looking for something in particular or if you're just lost and need to get back on track. You can actually download the map of the area that you're going to be at so you can use the map offline. I typically use Google Maps to help me find restaurants in an area that are off the beaten path. Number seven, Uber or Lyft. If I need to take a taxi to a destination, Uber or Lyft is definitely my preferred method of transportation. Everything is electronic, I can do it right from my cell phone and there's no cash exchange. In addition, I can earn a lot of extra rewards through with other programs when I use Uber or Lyft. Number eight, Tunnel Bear. When I'm traveling outside of the United States, sometimes there are websites I'm not able to access from that particular country. This is where TunnelBear is extremely valuable. TunnelBear is a VPN app, so you can make it look like you're searching the internet from a different location. Now it's important to note, VPNs are not legal in every country. It's really important that you look at the country you're going to and make sure it's okay to use a VPN. In most countries, it's okay, but there are a handful that it is illegal to use. Number nine, Google Pay. Now you can put an Apple Pay or Samsung Pay here, but I have the Pixel 2, so Google Pay is the mobile wallet I use. I prefer using the mobile wallet to a physical card anytime I can because the mobile wallet gives a one-time token use to that merchant. So if there was ever a situation where that merchant's information was stolen, those individuals would only get my one-time use token as opposed to my actual credit card number. I feel this is a safer way to use my credit card when traveling as opposed to using the physical credit card. Number 10, Crowdfire. Crowdfire is a relatively new app I've been using, but it really helps me manage all my different social media accounts. Crowdfire will allow me to take a post or a picture and share them to all of my different social media accounts all at once. To make it even better, I can schedule posts to go live at a certain time. This really does reduce the amount of time I spend posting pictures to all my different social media accounts. And this is a great way for me to share my travels with you and hopefully inspire you to travel to a new part of the world. So to sum it up, there are a lot of apps out on the market that are geared to helping making your travel just a little bit easier. These were 10 apps that I personally use that I find helpful in making my travel easier. So tell me, what apps do you use when you're traveling? 
Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in this week. Remember, I post new videos every Thursday. So if you like learning about credit cards, points, miles, cash back, or just flat out traveling for less, consider hitting that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you all next week. Safe travels and take care.